If you only pay attention to just one of my videos in this entire class, this is probably the most important one. So tune in and let's get started talking about MPV. The reason this video is so important is because I'm going to show you how to calculate the net present value or NPV. In capital budgeting, we use NPV to analyze the profitability of a projected investment or a new project. That project could be an asset we want to buy, a loan we want to make, or even the acquisition of a competing company. Calculating NPV is the most fundamental skill we use in finance. It is literally the most common and most important task we perform. NPV, or net present value, simply means bringing all applicable cash flows to their equivalent value in the present term and then taking their net, or sum. If you have coded outflows as negatives and inflows as positive numbers, then a positive NPV indicates the value that is created by undertaking the project in question. If you have a negative NPV, that represents the value that is being destroyed by undertaking the project. To understand NPV, let's consider a basic example. You've been offered the chance to lend your finance teacher $10 today so he can go buy some tacos, and he's offered to repay you $11 in one year's time. Assume your alternative use of these funds would be to invest them in an index portfolio like the S&P 500 and earn an expected 15% annual return. Well, we have the four necessary inputs to compute NPV already. The present value is $10. The future value is $11. The discount rate is 15% because that's what you could make if you invested in the next best alternative investment of similar risk, assuming the two investments are of a similar risk. Finally, N is the number of periods, which in this case is just one. To calculate NPV, first bring all cash flows back to time zero. In time zero, we have $10 going out to your finance teacher, so that's negative 10. And we have the present value of $11 being received in the future. The present value of $11 one year from now, discounted at 15%, is $9.56. It's a positive number because it's a cash inflow. The sum of these two numbers is a negative 44 cents. In other words, this loan will cause you to miss out on 44 cents of extra value that you could have captured by investing in the index fund and earning 15% instead of lending the money to your finance teacher so he could buy some time. Let's suppose you mention the NPV of the possible loan to your finance teacher, and he agrees now to give you $12 in one year. Does your decision change? Well, $10 outflow plus the present value of $12, or $10.43, is the inflow in time zero terms. That means you will now increase your value by $0.43 cents if you lend the money to Dr. Sabin, I mean your hypothetical taco-loving finance teacher. In a capital budgeting situation, the decision rule is simple. If you have a positive NPV, then accept or pursue the project. If the NPV is negative, reject it. 